Hello, I'm trying to get creative. I'm being outside using my iPad because my phone, even though I deleted a whole lot of stuff, doesn't want to let me record unless I buy more space. So I'm not doing that. So we're going to try with the iPad. Get junk journal. I um, made it off camera because it takes me forever. It takes me a few days just to figure out what to put in it, what to cover it with, in. Just like everybody else who does junk journaling. This is mine. It's made from a Apple Pepperidge Farm Apple turnover box. So I just covered it with my glue. I'm experimenting with glue and so far I've been using this glue called Aqua that I got from Michaels. And then I sometimes I use Mod, Mod Podge I really have to stop and just use one glue to figure out which one I like because that's been my dilemma lately because it feels kind of stiff and then it gets wrinkly even though I use the brayer it still comes out a little wrinkly so here we have my inside pocket that I have a vintage wrap from something called gimp which looks like um, some kind of thick thread it's not yarn I guess it's for tatting maybe. Then we have this paper that um, is from 1980. And then we have this one that's significant because it's also from, let's see, 1969. Um, of course I got little pockets. And I did this binding. I took the, the um, box and I folded over the edges because I thought I would have a nice thick binding. I hope it's going to work out for me because I think in the long run it's going to be tough because I'm going to have to poke through all those layers to do my binding. So we'll see. But so far I really love this. Now my signatures, as I'm learning technology, not technology, um, vocabulary for um, journaling, my signatures, I had to do three of them. But before I do that, I wanted to show you this really cool thing. See this? It's from 18, I think it's 1888. I just love it. It was just in one of the books. This is just a picture that was in a photo album. And this is really cute. Da Blondie and Dagwood. I don't even know if they still do Blondie and Dagwood. Blondie's telling Dagwood, um, he's saying, you know, I got to work a lot of money for your clothes. And she, he said, she says, keep up the good work. That'd be something I say. I did something crazy experimental last night. I took a napkin and I took Mod Podge. I didn't tear the napkin apart like most people say to do. I just took the whole napkin and I laid it on top of my paper. So this, I copied this. The original paper I think might be in one of them. But I've gotten these from books and things that I've purchased in these last few weeks. So again, this is a cute little thing that reminded me of my daughters. They sucked their thumbs and they did ballet and it just reminded me of them. Here's my jelly printed paper and my first attempt at watercolor. Again, more of my paper that I made. I did that just on the watercolor paper, my paper bags, and my papers. And I think my middle fell out, so we'll do that last. But these are more of the same. And I'll be embellishing and dressing those pages up. But my middle is really interesting. It's supposed to be the tallest building in England. That's what I got. I got this out of a book from like 1970. 
And then this is, I thought the colors were pretty, so I just plopped that in there from the magazine. So that's that signature. This goes back into the little pocket in the front before the wind blows it on me. All right, so I just need to put this little clip on here to keep me, keep me organized. There, that's done. Maybe one more on the side, just to one down. Um, I'll save those for last. This is a second second signature. Got to hold the middle this time. This is a little map, if you can obviously see. And some paper from one of my old books of scrapbooking that I never did scrapbooking. This is something from my collection. I may open up an Ep Ep Etsy store someday again. We'll see how it goes. I'm not really interested in doing it right now because I don't even have the subscribers, let alone the customers. So this is a print that I made. This is from the road atlas that I purchased at an estate sale. I didn't really purchase it. Let me back that up. I was invited to my friend's mom's, who, she was my friend too, her estate sale after it was all said and done. And this was stuff that they, they were just going to toss. So I just swooped them up and rescued them. And I didn't want to take them apart at first, but then... Just like any other journaler, you just say to yourself, it was going to be trashed. Now I'm going to turn it into something special. This is a golden book, which I love how you can just put something in there that means something to you. And this was in one of the books that I rescued. And as you can see, it's a letter from George Washington to his granddaughter. So that's the center. And then these are more papers that I made with my um, jelly plate, which I really love doing that. It's very relaxing. Someone said, Melanie Sullivan said, it's very relaxing, she was right. And there's a little girl. And there's a second signature. Let's put this back together so the wind doesn't take it away. There we go. Okay, number three. This is going to probably be my first page. Because it matches my cover. Love that. All right, let me hold the middle. I got something special in the middle. Here we go. Some jelly paper that I ordered. One of my favorite recipes, strawberry shortcake from scratch. This is a book that has a woman picking out, um, she's looking at her pieces of pattern paper as she's sewing at her sewing machine. These are all patterns to make a garment. So just keep that in mind as you're looking. There's that map again. Now this is the map of Alaska and I watch um, a couple of shows like Below Zero and it's got some of the towns in here that I watch. Brooks Range is on the other side of this and I thought that was really cool. It kind of connected me that way. That's what journaling is all about in junk journaling. Why they called it junk journaling but I guess the because you're taking somebody's junk and making it into a journal but this is not junk, this is now special. 81, that's a year one of my sons were born. 
Okay, so we have a pattern piece. This is one that I didn't use, but I used many of these to make doll clothes for my daughter's American Girl dolls. And now I'm making them for my granddaughter. She's using some of, she's using the ones um, that I made because my daughter's 19. But um, just yesterday she said, Grammy, you have to make me purple dress for my American Girl doll. So, as if there, I didn't make enough of the dresses, it's funny. Okay, that's just from an old book. And more cardstock from my old scrapbook paper. And I love doilies, who doesn't? Most people do. Yeah, that's a card, note card. Pretty, pretty, pretty butterfly that I copied from a book page that was being tossed. Okay, this is significant. This is cute. Wait for it. And this is it. Now, my daughter, when she was younger, she wanted to be a fashion designer. So, we got her books and papers and markers and she designed all of her clothes in this book. And I stole this page because I found it when I was looking for something else. It says, Sales Savvy. <laughs> with exclusive co clothes and with lots of dresses, you won't even think about going back to your old store because she's making a new one for you. This is the cutest thing. I hate covering all of this up. Look. Wool fuzzy sweaters for those cold winter days. The other half of the ones that you already saw. So, that's... Now I'm, now I'm doing good. Once I got my cover done, once I got my signatures made, now I can go in a direction that I want to go in because lots of times for me, I get stuck because I don't know which way to go. I just keep watching videos instead of creating because I don't know what I wanna do. So this is, I finally figured out this is what I have to do first. First, I make the cover. And it's kinda like making, when you're writing a story, Sometimes I'll, I'll have a title before I start writing a story. I like to write and I think it, it's because that's how it was in high school. We were given a topic and then from there we had to make, um, we had to make several paragraphs. I forgot what it was called, intermediate comp, that's what it was called. And we had to um, write and write so many paragraphs and we had to pass with an A or a B in order to go on to the next part of English and it took me five times five times to pass because they didn't like my writing and I finally passed with the topic of garage mechanics take advantage of women that's what my that's what my topic was but that's how it's been with me for um, for these journals which I absolutely love I feel like I'm spinning my wheels a lot because I'm um, I want to do it but I don't know which direction to take be for now I love this this besides having a bunch of stuff that you just love um, you got to know how to put them together and I don't say that I'm putting them together but I feel like the first journal is was okay it's getting better hopefully it's gonna get really good but we'll see as it goes got off topic to some degree but all right you already saw this this is gonna go I think it was I don't I'll figure it out after but once I get my cover done then I got to get my pages and my first mistake was sewing them in with binding 
instead of embellishing them first. I don't want to do that because um, then you can't use a sewing machine if you want to do it. So example one is this is um, upside down. I hope I didn't do the whole thing upside down. Nope, I didn't. Okay, that's really cute. So this is my first page on my first signature. It's going to go inside there. I'll have them all laid out, and then I'll decide what to do with each page as I pick it up, and I try to get myself inspired. So this is what I got done last night. This is from a book. Um, I, this is what I mean. I used the sewing machine. And then I ended up making a pocket, and it seems that a lot of junk journaling pockets are like the number one thing you're kind of going for. So that's a pocket, and then here's a pocket, right? And then this turned into a little pocket too. But I sewed this on with my machine, and I couldn't do that if it was in all, over, all bound up in the book. And then you have to take into consideration when you're sewing and you're embellishing what the other side of the page looks like. And I thought this looks fine the way it is. So that's page number one down. So then I'll lay that down, go on to page number two. This was significant because we have birthdays and things in this month. So I decided to sew that in and use that as my embellishment. I actually started off with wanting to use this because of the color and then I turned it over and realized that it was more valuable to me on this side so I sewed that in and then again taking into consideration the other side I sewed I used this as a border and then just used a light number one marker to just do a little bit of embellishing now like I said I'm I'm going along and when you're first starting off your creativity has to kind of have a boost but it can only be boosted by doing and, and um, picking things up and using them so this is a little pocket no it's not it's a flip and then you can write on the back of that if you so choose this is from a Victorian book I did not make that into a pocket because well, pockets are cute. I don't want every single page to have a pocket. That's what I decided. So you can write in there. And I cut this out of a magazine and embellished it because this is one of my favorite things, lemon and tea time, lemon pound cake and tea time. And plus I picked it for the pink, because pink is my color, as you can see. So I finished this finished up with this little charm another vocabulary word for junk journaling um, it says what does it say you you are an ambitious woman I think I cut this out of a book that I use the pages in other ways and I just decided to just start going through the book and cutting out little sentiments that might be useful for me in the future with my journaling so journaling is so awesome because less is not more more is more and I just love gaudy gaudy jazz it up and as journals go this might even be plain but for me it was just right so that's what it's about so there you have it there's page number two and then as I said I think I said this in the beginning this is my um yeah I did this is my Mudge Podge paper page that I may embellish, I may not, I may leave it the way it is, but the idea is usually if you wanna, you want a space to write on. But this came out really cool because it kinda leaked through, Mod Podge leaked through and it created this watercolor effect. So there, okay, so that's how we got, I got going. I got going and I got three three pages done and I will show you the next step as I go along of finishing junk journal number two.
so if you liked what you see please subscribe and then that will tell me that people are liking what they see and please comment and give me hints and tell me what your journals are like and if you comment then I can maybe go to your channel that would be awesome because my whole goal is to kind of get into the community of junk journaling and connect with people who are doing it. I hope that I can get all the way to Australia and all the other um, journalers that are all around the, the world and see what their ideas are and just see their creativity flowing. It's just, for me, it's really must be the reason why I've saved all these different little odds and ends all through the years because I loved them so much and I didn't know what I was going to do with them so when I hit on that one channel one day and I saw junk journaling it was bingo now I can take my really some people call it romantic laces or just beautiful laces and stuff which I purchased this recently so that's I'll be honest with you I purchased a lot um now I can do something with them. Again, I said this in another video that I may or may not post. It's like taking a um, sewing project. You go to the store, you you pick out your, your material, and then for me, I see three or four materials that are on sale, keyword sale, and I decide I'm going to take them home with me too. Now I have probably four or five, honestly, different fabrics. I just went through making masks and I have tons of fabrics. And now my mask making has slowed down to a halt. Um, I have a website, jessicaslittlemermaid.com. You go to the store, you see all these fabrics and you um, come home with them, but they don't make themselves. They look really pretty and the ideas just pop off in your head and you got to realize when you come home you've got to do something with them um people and i showed the papers that i collected um from like the i think it's the 60s or the 70s i didn't collect them my husband gave them to me from his grandmother and i showed them to a couple of people in said out this is what I do I'm gonna cut these and put these in the journal and they were more interested in reading those papers than they were of how my first journal came out which is fine it's not a I didn't take that personally but it's like they they're like how can you cut this what's the alternative they're in a box in the basement or in the garage with the journal I'm hoping to make a bunch of journals and then they're gonna be you know accessible they're gonna look pretty on the shelf and I can take them down and just walk down memory lane or maybe which it's not a great ambition because it, we'll see I can make them and make them and sell them maybe it's my new maybe it's my new um it's definitely a new outlet maybe it's my new business that's a joke thanks for watching and listening to me rattle on you probably have turned it off by the end by now if not we'll get back to you and start a new show it's a wrap